when you look back here over my shoulders and you look at Pioneer, and then if you're familiar with what Basin's building up here as well, we have two other transmission projects that are going on in the region. Those three projects combined will represent another $1.3 billion of investment by Basin Electric and, and its members in the Bakken region. Projects of this scale couldn't be accomplished without the cooperations of the citizens who surround us in the localities. The footprint we serve up here, as you can see, just looking around you, is some of the sparsest country of the United States, uh, population-wise. In that footprint, uh, it's mostly agriculture, but we also serve the Bakken, in, which is very energy intensive. So with the Bakken, our electricity needs are day and night, every day of the year, and our power needs just continue to grow. It's very critical that we have facilities like Pioneer 4 to support our region. That grid stability that we get with Pioneer 4 um, really can't be beat. This 600 megawatt project not only is a significant investment in our power grid, it adds significant strength to our state's economic appeal. When we say North Dakota feels and feeds the world, it's because of investments like this. Investments that provide reliable, affordable electricity that allows our state to be an energy and agricultural powerhouse. It's important that we do this when the, the people that we're living and working with are our members. So all the people in Williston area, they're, they're basin owners. They're, they're our members, we answer to them. So it's our obligation to be good neighbors. When we're done in a couple short years, there's going to be two large gas turbines. There's going to be three existing smaller gas turbines. There's going to be 12 existing smaller reciprocating engines, and there's going to be six large new reciprocating engines. With over 800 megawatts of dispatchable energy, this site will be the largest natural gas-fired plant in a radius that's bounded by Milwaukee to the east, Denver to the south, Salt Lake City to the southwest, and the Pacific Ocean to the west. This will be a, a proud addition to Basin Electric Fleet and a crown jewel of natural gas fire generation. 18 months ago, we started talking about this project, and as you can see behind me, we've made a lot of progress since then. We're proud to serve Basin Electric, and we'll stop at nothing to get this project done on time.